Great to have you here with us. 10 Tampa Bay at 530 starts right now. Ryan Bass along with you for the ride. We're into October and while airports are starting to get busier, there's still a massive drop off in people traveling. TSA said 717,000 people went through checkpoints yesterday. That's a third of what we saw on the same day last year. Some people may still be hesitant to fly because of the virus. But 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer has data from a groundbreaking new study that shows flying might not be as dangerous as first thought. This United Airlines plane would normally be filled with passengers, but due to COVID-19 concerns, like many other aircraft on this day, it's empty, except for one mannequin and a team of researchers studying how respiratory droplets move throughout the aircraft cabin. There have been a lot of questions over these past nine months. What can we do? What can't we do? The Department of Defense, with the help of United, conducted 300 tests over six months in what's being described as a landmark study. The researchers simulated breathing and coughs both with and without the mannequin wearing a surgical mask. Some really good engineering science. We had USF's Dr. Jay Wolfson review the study and he says the results are encouraging. This is a very good study that says if you're in the airplane and everything is everything is done right and you're wearing a mask, it's probably pretty safe once you're in there. The research team used special sensors throughout the plane to detect the respiratory droplets. And when tested with the mask on, they found only about 0.003% of the particles made it to where other passengers would be breathing. That's important to know because some people need to travel and they're afraid to. And some people would like to travel to visit with their families. Earlier studies have shown that modern commercial airliners equipped with the latest air filtration systems actually do a good job of filtering viruses out of the air. But remember, your flight involves more than just the plane ride. You've got to get from the parking lot into the airport, into the terminal, standing in line. That's where you've got a lot of potential for community spread, and those, those environments may not be as well controlled. That's why you have to be as careful as you possibly can. And Dr. Wolfson says seniors and those with pre-existing conditions especially need to be careful if they want to take the risk of flying right now. The CDC reports there have been cases of passengers who likely contracted COVID during flights, but the airlines point out many of those cases happened before masks were required.